welcome back to our training video series for hotels. So in the last video, you've already learned how to configure some basic system settings. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to configure the network for room guests, including their user authentication settings, as well as bandwidth limitation. So to begin, you'll need to set up a dedicated network for guests first. As mentioned in the previous video, this will be referred to as a service zone in our UI. So go to system and then click on service zones. Here you'll see a default service zone as well as eight other service zones which you can configure by clicking on the hyperlink. So what you'll do is go into service zone one and configure this as your guest network. You'll need to enable the service zone status and in the service zone name, you can change it to guest. Here you can also set the VLAN tag, the IP address, and the subnet mask as required. So after you've set your guest network, We'll move on to its authentication settings so that guests will be required to log in before they can access the internet. Of course, you'll need to enable the authentication setting first. Then scroll down to authentication options. For room guests, we'll be authenticating them via the on-demand authentication database since there are various time duration or quota settings that you can configure for on-demand accounts. So here, check on-demand as the default and uncheck the rest. Now click Apply, and then click OK. You don't have to reboot the system after these settings. OK, now that you've created the guest service zone, you'd want to go back to check if it's on by clicking on the Service Zones tab. And when you're done, the next step is to configure the on-demand accounts. Go to Users, then click on Internal Authentication, and then On Demand. Now click on the Configure button next to Billing Plans to determine the duration each room guest is allowed and whether or not you'll charge them for Wi-Fi. When you see the Billing Plan page, click on the number 1 to continue and set up a Billing Plan for room guests. Here you can choose Hotel Cutoff Time, which will determine when the account will be cut off from internet access on the following day or multiple days later depending on the unit of Billing Plan given. For Number of Devices, this is the number of devices you allow to log in per account. And if you don't want to enforce a limit on this if they're premium guests, you can put in zero. Next, for unit price, you can decide whether you want to charge your Wi-Fi service, for example, $10 per day, or if it's complimentary, you can put in zero. Then for group, you can select group two first, and we'll go into more details later about setting groups. And finally, you can put in something like premium as reference and then click Apply. Then you'll be redirected back to the Billing Plan Configuration page. Now click on the active checkbox for the Billing Plan that you've just created, and then click Apply. Now that you're done with configuring the Billing Plan, we'll move on to show you how to configure the group details for guests. So click on the Group tab, and here, select Group 2 since this is the group that was selected when you were creating the Billing Plans. Then you can change the group name to Guests. And for the number of devices which are allowed to log in, you can put in zero again like in the billing plan. After you're done, scroll down to Zone Permission Configuration and Policy Assignment where you'll enable the service zone which is accessible by the guest group. So enable the guest service zone and then check all the other service zones. You can also see under Time Span 1 and Time Span 2, Policy 2 is selected. So now we're going to show you how to configure this policy to enforce bandwidth limitation on the guest user group. Click on Policies and then Policy Configuration and select Policy 2. As you've just seen, this will be the policy that will be enforced on the guests. So you can change the policy name to Guest and then click Apply. Here you can also see that this policy consists of various profiles like Firewall, Privilege, QoS, etc. In this case, we are only going to configure the bandwidth limitation for guests, which is the QoS profile. Click on QoS and then select QoS2, which corresponds to the guest's policy. Here you can limit the bandwidth for each individual guest or the guest group as a whole. So for example, if we only want to limit bandwidth for each guest, we can put in 10 megabits per second for individual maximum downlink and uplink, and then click apply. So in this video, You've learned how to set up the network for guests and their authentication and bandwidth limitation settings. Mm -hmm.